Jason, hugely frustrating evening at the end of it. Uh, what do you what do you make of the game? Uh, yeah, hugely frustrating evening. Um, I thought we were under the cosh for the first probably 10 minutes of the game. They came out of the traps uh, well. Um, the crowd were up and um, we managed to withstand a bit of pressure. Uh, I felt that we were getting into the game and create, started to create some moments for ourselves. We had a great chance uh, from Smith and, um, and then it all turns on the red card. Um, from where I was, did, didn't look anything like a red card. It, it followed just after a 50-50, an honest 50-50 between one of our players and one of theirs. And, and straight after that, there's another 50-50 and the referee decides to give a red card. And um, I felt it was very harsh, but until I see it back, I can't really comment too much further. Um, but it's, it's totally t turned the game. And um, from then on, it was backs to the wall stuff. Um, you know, I can't fault the effort of the players. I think, you know, they, they gave everything they could tonight. And, um, you know, we managed to limit them to, 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 you know, apart from the one save Dino made at the end of the first half, he didn't have lots of, you know, saves to make. And we managed to, to defend our box extremely well. Um, you know, and, and then, you know, they've, they've scored an unbelievable strike uh, from the edge of the box in the top corner. And that's what it's taken to beat us tonight. And, um, you know, we continue to, to put bodies forward and try to, to get something from the game. But um, unfortunately, it wasn't to be. When you t sort of, Harry goes off in that situation, you have to think pretty quickly as to how you're going to sort of react to that and watch any changes you're going to make. Yeah. There. What, you know, Liango coming on up, Liango coming on up front, bad luck on Dion Pereira, but um, I guess that's just what's got to be done. Yeah, nothing to do with uh, Dion's performance. In fact, he was just starting to get a bit of joy down that side. He just put a lovely cross in the box for, for Harry Smith. Um, but we just felt with the shape that they were playing that we needed to try and put another body at the top end of the pitch. So we brought Leon and, and sort of went to a 4-3-2, if you like. Um, to try and to try and stop them in central areas, and <clears throat> like I say, I thought the game plan worked quite well until until the ball goes in the top corner because um, you know we managed to keep them into wide areas without uh, threatening too much, and um, like I say, the goals just killed it. And the two changes um, at half time, Omar again for Ben was that a pre pre planned as for, as per Boxing Day? No, we um, we decided to change. Uh, Ben, because he'd, he'd picked up a yellow card and uh, we couldn't afford to lose another player. Uh, the mood the referee was in, it wouldn't have surprised me to have ended up with nine men. So um, we decided to change that. And, um, and Christian, being a midfielder, because I wanted three in there, um, just made sense to put him in there instead of Tope. So nothing, no injuries on that front, um, just more to do with tactically. And as you said, ter terrific spirit from the players to battle um, and, and hard done by in the end that it took, a bit like Wrexham, it took a, a, something fairly special to, to beat them. In yeah, the uh, typical of how the season's going, Tony, to be honest with you. You know, we don't seem to be getting uh, the right decisions and we don't seem to be getting the right side of the luck. But uh, all we can do is keep, keep our heads down, keep working and... Uh, see where the bodies are at and uh, hopefully be able to get a team out there to, to perform as it has done with the same endeavour and hard work ready for uh, Monday. And the starting line-up tonight, several changes, a couple of changes from, from Tuesday. Was that sort of in, with the mind of four games in quick succession, just trying to keep things fresh? Yeah, absolutely. You've got people like Dominic Gape who's had a period out and we've got to be careful that we don't overuse certain players and end up with a, a threadbare squad again. So it's all for me, it's been about trying to keep as many bodies fit as possible into these games and, and and you saw that tonight we were able to bring a bit of freshness off the bench um, as much as we can we'll, we'll see if we can freshen it up um, to give ourselves the best opportunity on, on Monday but um, you know we won't know until tomorrow and even Sunday as to where some of those bodies are at because they've put a great shift in tonight. Just seeing Dominic not even on the bench today there was no, no problem with him after the Wimbledon game just, just sort of as you say, managing him. Yeah, looking after him for his own good, really, because he wants to play and he's desperate to get out there. But, um, you know, he, he, he put a great shift in at Wimbledon. He's his first minutes back after a four or five week period. Um, so really just trying to look after him to give him the best chance to get on the field for us. And this evening, uh, as, as the second half went on, you, you got the feeling that the children <coughs> were beginning to get a little bit desperate, didn't you? And three substitutions coming on and you think the, the job's all, almost done and then, then that shot comes in from, from there. Yeah, it's disappointing, obviously. You know, they've got a great squad. They've got some great people to bring in off the bench and, you know, you saw that with the quality of Malone when he sticks out in the top corner. You know, he's, he's a top quality player and he's on the bench for Gillingham. So, um, you know, we're... <laughs> 
we feel hard done by uh, because they've had to make those subs because they w they were struggling to to impact our defence. But um, like I say, it's taken a great strike um, on the night, and you know, good luck to them. Um, you know, it doesn't get any any quieter because another couple of days and another game on Monday against Newport. Obviously, you've got to wait to look at the Harry Smith sending off, but facing poss possible four games four games without him. But that that would be a blow if it if it came off. But firstly, we've got the Newport game to worry about on Monday. Yeah, it, it'd be a massive blow if he's out for that period of time because he's such a, a big part of what we are and what we're doing. You know, he's a he's a leader in the changing room, um, and I feel he's been hard done by. But I won't be able to know for sure until until I see the video back as to whether it's worth appealing or not. Um, but yeah, certainly if it, if we feel we've got a case, then we'll we'll certainly try and do that. And getting back in front of our own supporters on Monday at home to Newport, crucial crucial game. Haven't in terms of the position at the bottom of the table, haven't lost anything tonight because all the others lost as well. So real real chance to get sort of get the supporters get behind and push us onto a victory on Monday. Yeah, well, I think the supporters certainly the ones that have travelled to Wimbledon and and here tonight. Over 300 you know, thank, here tonight. Yeah, I thank them for for giving them our support or oh, their support. Sorry to us. You know, it means a lot to us. So. Um, you know, hopefully we can get another big crowd at home on Saturday. Oh, sorry, Saturday. Monday. What day are we on now? Monday. Yeah, Monday. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, just um, just trying to get you know the, the fans behind us to give us the best chance on Monday. But um, yeah, I thank them all for coming out on their numbers, and um, you know, we'll, we'll give them our and best think, on Monday. I think they appreciated the effort the players put in as well from the reaction at, from the reaction at the end. Well, I, I think they can see that everyone's trying their best to to, to win football matches and, and perform at their best. So. Um, Hopefully they'll continue to do that. You know, um, the, the players are giving everything and um, I'm sure the supporters will too. Brilliant. Well, thanks a lot, Jason, as always. And we'll catch up with you on Monday. Cheers, Tony. Cheers. Thank you.